How to create blobby colour fills in Photoshop. Go to the layer menu and create a new layer. I want my pattern to have transparency, so I'm going to remove the background layer. Go to the elliptical marquee tool in the toolbar. Go to the centre of the layer and then hold the shift key down and drag to create a selection. Or use any other selection shape you wish. Select the gradient tool. Go to the gradient presets panel, right side menu. Select the library Color Harmonies 2. Select the preset or one of the other presets. Set type to radial. Set the blending mode to difference. Apply a test run with that gradient to the selection. I'm going to change the selection. I'm going to use some feathering and contraction. Perfectly reasonable as a blob, but I want some blurring around the edges of my design. Go to the Select menu and Modify and Feather. Set the value to 40. Of course, you can use a different value. Click OK. I want to contract the selection, so now I'm just going to go to Select Menu, Modify and Contract. Set to 10. Apply the gradient. You get a blurry gradient around the edge. The contraction means you won't get that white edge. Apply the gradient many times with different origin and lengths. You can always undo. Just keep applying the gradient until you're happy with design. Perhaps change the gradient preset. Up to you. I think that gradient looks just right. Select menu and deselect. Go to the layers panel and delete the background. You now have some transparency. For your pattern, go to toolbar and select the rectangular marquee. Select the pattern source. Select the entire gradient. Go to edit menu and define pattern. Give it a name or the default. Click OK. Go to the Select menu and deselect. Edit menu and fill. Select the defined pattern from the Patterns presets. Select the Script option. In the drop down, select Random Fill. Sadly, the preview rarely seems to match the end result. Set a high density value. Set the scale factors to a low value. Set color and brightness randomization to zero. Set rotate pattern on. Click OK to generate the fill. The end result really doesn't look like the preview. A workaround, run the fill again and again and again. The result is accumulative. Even if you run the fill multiple times, it really doesn't take too long. You could always set up a menu shortcut, makes it a little bit faster. I've applied it about 10 times now, so there's no background showing. You could also set up multiple pattern presets and use those as well. Or add the gradient blobs to separate layers. Or use different shapes for your blobs. Or use different gradients or filters or layer effects. Or add adjustments. Or make multiple layers with those blobs and apply different blending modes. Go to Filter menu and Stylize and Oil Paint. Set the top two sliders to high values. Leave the others at the default settings. Click OK. Rerun the filter a number of times depending on the document. For small documents, run it a few times. For big documents, run it many times. Oil paint creates a lovely, gooey, smooth, smeary effect. The image may get a bit gooey, but it becomes a little duller. You can correct that later via levels as well as other adjustments. I think that's enough times for the oil paint filter. Instead of keeping just standard blobs, I want to shift or liquefy some of those blobs. Go to Filter menu and Liquify. Go to the Forward Warp tool in Liquify, the first tool, and then just apply a subtle warp. You don't really need to smear the entire image, just slightly liquefy the blobs. Just apply to the individual blobs. Change settings as you wish so the blobs look even more smeary. Click OK. You could now create a new layer, apply gradients to that layer, 
use different fills, and then combine them using blending modes to create amazing designs. Go to Image Menu and Adjustments and Levels. That's probably going to be the most useful one. Move the white slider on the right to the left on the input levels. The mid-tone slider slightly to the right. Click OK. And there you have your blobby fill design or glass or bubble effect. You can manipulate the image in many more ways. You can save it to your library using After Effects, and much, much more. Hope you have found this video tutorial of interest. I'm always adding new videos about Photoshop as well as other applications. Please subscribe to the Graphic Extras channel. Also, please add some comments. Always appreciated. Also, a like or dislike. Thank you much.